White people's butts are helping us learn about sunscreen. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you need any more context? Probably. Uh, so a recent study was trying to see how much uh, sunscreen are people are putting on and what the actual effect is. So while a bottle of sunscreen might say it's uh, SPF 50, you're actually getting a lower SPF judging by the amount of sunscreen you're putting on. So usually what's recommended is about one fluid ounce of sunscreen for your whole body. Depending on your body size, this may be different. But that's the equivalent of slathering an entire shot glass of sunscreen on your whole body. It's more than most people would actually do. So researchers decided to uh, figure out exactly how much this was by applying SPF 50 sunscreen at just 40% of what the uh, recommended was because that's about what people actually do. And to do this, they applied sunscreen layers of varying thicknesses on the upper buttocks mm -hmm. of 16 fair-skinned people and then exposed their butts to UV light simulating different parts of the world, in some instances Florida, in some instances Brazil, and they would do it for maybe one day or five days because that's about how long most people might vacation. They used chemical analysis to count the number of misbonded pieces of DNA or damaged DNA related to the formation of skin cancer. And for unprotected skin, the damage was greatest under repeated exposure, even at low ray UV intensity, but the damage was reduced considerably with just a thin layer of sunscreen. However, that makes the effectiveness go down a lot as well. So if you put on an SPF 50 at 40% of what is recommended, it translates to about SPF 20. Ugh. Here's what I like about this story. Okay. Many things. But One is like, thank you for participating in our experiment. Uh, could you please turn around and show me your butt? I'm gonna wipe cream on it. And then they biopsy the skin off their butts. Sounds great at the beginning. <laughs> You're like, oh, cream on my butt, thank you. <laughs> then they say like, all right, get in the sun, whitey. And you're just like your white butt in the sun. It's Sorry, a, you had to see that. It's in a lamp. That. Sorry, in the lamp, under a lamp. <laughs> and it, we're burning your skin. And then after that, they punch a hole in your skin. To take some to of it. To get cells. Yes, to see how many cancerous cells you've gotten. Or not cancerous cells, but damaged DNA, Damage, which yeah. could lead to melanoma. And I mean, Typically what they agreed on was you probably want to go for an, a higher SPF unless you're uh, applying a lot. So for instance, in their, uh, in, in their findings, if you slathered on SPF 30 at 40%, you'd only get the protection of SPF 12. If you put on SPF 15, you would only end up with SPF 6, which is like nothing, like a t-shirt, a thin white t-shirt. Either way, you should not be putting SPF on by yourself. You need someone. You think you can do it, you can't do it. You're a failure. My wife is out of town and I went to the beach and I have the spray cans and I was like, I'm doing it. And I went, mm, and then up like this, but I clearly missed this entire part of my body. Mm -hmm. So I was fine. Until. Then bright red, <laughs> like up to my pits. Like I obviously just stayed there. I have like pit crease redness. Mm -hmm. So don't do that alone, children. Well, another way they recommended in the study was to apply two layers. So do your first layer of sunblock, wait 10 minutes, put on a second layer. And always remember to reapply, especially if you're going in the water. My, the spray one works fine, yeah. and I don't know how. Because I feel like I'm barely just... I mean, some studies are... I've seen several articles even that said, you know, don't use the spray kind, but you've got to find what's right for you. What we have found is most people do under-apply from the recommended amount. So you neither need to put on more or get a higher SPF or maybe do both. you got to make that barrier on your skin. Um, because now we have butt data to prove that it is damaging. Uh, it could save your ass. It could literally save your ass.